Hey, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy E2Blue coming back at you again, all dressed up today, about to attend a friend's uh, wedding. So, I'm about to head in here now. Just wanted to holler at y'all for a second. Um, I know you guys already heard the news that um, Jeff Swaim is going to be going to the uh, Jacksonville Jaguars. They announced that uh, he is now their new tight end. Um, I, I guess they need tight end help, and they're happy to have him. Um, you know, I know a lot of us didn't really like Jeff Swain, but I actually liked him. I think that um, if he would have got another year with us, he would have showed a little bit more. But, you know, he got injured last year with that. He broke his wrist and he couldn't play for us down the stretch. So um, I, just, I wish I wish him well um, with Dallas Cowboys. We got Jason Witten back for a year. Got some guy named Corey McCloy. I don't know who the hell that is. Um, I don't know if that's a camp body or what. I don't know. He has no stats in the NFL, so whatever. He's a baseball player uh, from, from the Braves, I think. But whatever. I don't know where that signing came from. That was random. But we still have um, Blake Jarwin and we have um, Schultz. So those are our guys going forward. I don't know what they're going to do with Rico Gathers. I really wish that they would do something with him because, you know, he could be a deep zone, uh, uh, red zone threat and things. Oh, my God. I'm looking good. Anyway, um, he's a red zone threat, you guys. So, um you know, with his height and everything, but I don't understand why they're not using him. But for whatever reason it is, we'll see what happens in this um, when this offseason goes. They may even draft another tight end later in the rounds. Who knows? But we'll be talking more about the draft and things of that nature going forward um, starting next week. So with that being said, y'all, it's your boy E2Blue, always keeping it real. Talk to y'all later. Have a great day.